Reform and Royal Rivalry Milestones in Saudi Crown Prince's Ascent Reuters, a crackdown on corruption ordered by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince caps a frenetic to a half years in which he has tried to remodel a conservative kingdom ruled by cautious elderly men into a modern state no longer dependent on oil. Following are the main challenges Prince Mohammed bin Salman has tackled since his father King Salman bin Abdulaziz made him defense minister of the world's largest oil producer in January 2015, and then deputy crown prince the following April. Saudi royal family arrests, TMSNRT.RS2 Ejknik Prince Mohammed capped his rapid rise to power in June this year by replacing his elder cousin Prince Mohammed bin Neif, widely known as MBN as Crown Prince. A source close to King Salman said MBN's dismissal was in the higher interests of the state because he was incapacitated by morphine and cocaine addiction, a legacy of an assassination attempt that left shrapnel in his body. Prince Mohammed, 32, tightened his grip on power with the start of the anti-corruption campaign at the weekend, purging the kingdom's political and business elite. Among those arrested were 11 princes, Many Saudis welcomed the moves as an assault on the endemic theft of public funds by the powerful. U.S. President Donald Trump said those arrested had been milking their country for years, but some Western officials expressed unease about the possible reaction in Riyadh's opaque tribal and royal politics. Saudi Prince Al-Walid's investments, TMSNRT.RS2J5FE04 Prince Mohammed launched a military campaign in neighboring Yemen in March 2015. A Saudi-led coalition, acting on an invitation from the internationally recognized government, has targeted the Iran-aligned Houthi movement in a war which has killed more than 10,000 people. The war is closely identified with the prince in his role as defense minister. His image once adorned war propaganda, but is rarely associated with the war now, although he has said it must continue to quash Iranian influence. Even before the conflict, Yemen was the poorest country on the Arabian Peninsula, and now 7 million people there are facing famine and a cholera epidemic. The coalition denies it blocks commercial shipments of food, medicine and fuel. Prince Mohammed has helped lead a diplomatic campaign to isolate Qatar, saying Riyadh's erstwhile ally backs terrorism and cozies up to Iran. Qatar rejects the accusations and says it is being punished for straying from its neighbor's backing for authoritarian rulers. The campaign has driven a deep breach into an alliance of Gulf Arab countries that Washington regards as essential to its influence in the region. Qatar had incensed Riyadh by cheering Arab Spring uprisings against some autocratic Arab rulers. Saudi Arabia's rivalry with Iran, its competitor for influence in the Middle East, has deepened as King Salman and Prince Mohammed work to build a Sunni coalition against Tehran and its allies in the Arab world. In May, as deputy crown prince, Prince Mohammed used unusually provocative language to rule out dialogue with revolutionary Shiite Muslim theocracy Iran, which he said was trying to interfere in Arab lands and dominate the Muslim world. On Tuesday, state media quoted him as describing Iran's supply of rockets to militias in Yemen as direct military aggression that could be an act of war. Prince Mohammed has also opened a new front in the proxy war with Iran by threatening Tehran's ally Hezbollah and its home country Lebanon. The resignation on Saturday of the Saudi-allied Lebanese Prime Minister, Saad al-Hariri, announced from Riyadh, was widely seen as the first act on this new front. The Crown Prince has also sought the help of Shiite leaders in Iraq to try to reverse Iran's dominant role there and shore up security on the kingdom's northern border, and has tried to improve ties with the United States under Trump, who shares his and King Salman's antipathy to Iran's government. The planned sale of about 5% of national oil company Saudi Aramco Ipo Armo.se next year is a centerpiece of Vision 2030, Prince Mohammed's blueprint to move the economy away from what he called its addiction to oil toward the private sector. The IPO is expected to raise as much as $100 billion, but investors wonder whether Aramco can be valued anywhere close to the $2 trillion figure announced by the Crown Prince, and there has been market speculation that the IPO could be delayed beyond 2018 or shelved.
Many Saudis have misgivings about the sale, with some fearing Riyadh is selling cheaply at a time of low oil prices. Vision 2030 has begun to reduce a big state budget deficit with austerity measures, but has not yet created major new sources of non-oil growth or jobs. The